Fragrance Lover. I have the honor of having Tiff Benson, the Tiff Benson here at my home in Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn, and Stephen from Red Lessons. This is a very happy day for me. Yes. So lovely to meet you. Thank you for making on just an overnight notice. <laughs> no worries. I'm glad to be here. As am I. <laughs> it seems like a weekly thing a little bit. Either I'm at his house or he's at my house. So today we're going to review a fragrance from Parfums de Mali called Habdan. Yeah, so this fragrance is a 2013 release. It is an oriental vanilla. As far as the notes are concerned, we have two types of incense. We have myrrh and we have frankincense. There's also a lot of apple and caramel. In the base, we have some ambergris, woodsy notes, a little bit of saffron, and uh, rose. And I will never cease to be amazed at how you remember that, always. <sighs> Practice makes perfect. I need cue cards. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed to admit it, so let's spray some hot done. Let's do it. <clears throat> Packaging is beautiful. It is. Really nice black bottle. Glossy black bottle. And the cap you. also doubles as a weapon. It's crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a beautiful presentation. <laughs> Solid. Mm. Oh, I can smell that in the air. I love the intro. I really do. So this one really, really lasts on my skin for a long time. Okay. You know, the apple is not as prominent as I'd like it to be. Mm -hmm. It's got a woody character about it, sure. and uh, it's very strong. Yeah. It's like one of those that doesn't sit lightly on the skin. It definitely projects. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you get from this one? You know, on, on online fragrance forums, it just says woodsy notes, but I do smell a little bit of oud in there, but it's not funky, it's not skanky, it's not animalistic. And it doesn't go sharp on the skin. Yeah, absolutely. Because some think... ouds tend to really go sharp on my skin. Oh my god, I don't yeah. know about you. I know for this one, you have the, the caramel, which provides this warmth to it. You also have the apple, which serves to clean it up a little bit. And um, I too wish it were a little bit stronger, but I do smell it in there, and it provides the fragrance with a nice, distinct character. This projects... I, I honestly, with most fragrances, I don't think that it does justice on the paper. You gotta spray it. Let's yeah. make sure on my hands, right on your hand. Look at this, one more. There we go. All the nuances come out much more on skin than on paper, for sure. Yeah. I get a yeah, caramelly like feeling, but it's never overly sweet. Um, and I can't recall anything that this smells like to me. Not really. Not really. What do you think, Tiff? I think that, I mean, it definitely does smell fruity. It has a fruity vibe, but it's not over the top. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, uh, Not mellow. Toying. Yeah. It's mellow. What I like about this too is despite it only having two types of incense or having two types of incense, which is a lot, um, it doesn't smell smoky. You it's know? Not, it, I don't get a smoky character and I don't mind a smoky character. If you're looking for smoke, you're not going to get it from here. I get the right. apple, I get the woods, I get, I get, it's kind of like, like, can you bake up apple pie out in the woods on a fire? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can, right? That wouldn't work. You know what I think with this one too? is uh, with the myrrh note, because mm -hmm. myrrh, there's also a poppinax, which is known as sweet myrrh. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me a lot of, even though it smells nothing like it, it's mm -hmm. in a league of its own, but it does remind me of kind of like Jubilation 25, because that has a lot of a poppinax. So this is to the Parfum de Marley brand, what Jubilation 25 is to the Amouage brand. I think mm -hmm. it's a spectacular fragrance. Listen, I would wear it dressed up, dressed down. Um, I know the price is up there, um, but I think it has quality, you know? I'm not sure if it's unisex, but I find this a little more on the masculine side, if anything. Mm -hmm. You think so? Smell it on me. No, it's not so masculine on you. <laughs> 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 hey, come on, beautiful. <laughs> on my skin, it comes off masculine. Can I smell it on you? <laughs> Absolutely, please do. Oh, yeah, it does. It's, it? it's got a really... It's funny how that works. Yeah. But, you know, I, I've told you this before, that on my skin, things tend to smell different than they do on other people's skin mm -hmm. for whatever reason. 
But yeah, so this is one that I definitely enjoy and uh, I guess you guys do as well. Um, I personally like this one a lot. And I, I'm into the sweeter scents like Herod and Go Dolphin and uh, Owajin. So oh, I do like I'm gonna this review one. that one too. I, I you should. Really, you should. I really, really do. I like that one a lot. <laughs> yeah, but I give this one a thumbs up too. It does smell good. Apple and woods. It's and you can see yourself skin. wearing it as well? Totally. I could definitely see myself wearing it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So like most uh, perfumes are they're a little pricey. Yeah. How much is a 400 ml bottle? This is uh, $275 American. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. But safe to say it's one that we all definitely pleasantly enjoy, huh? Yeah, absolutely. It's good. Good stuff, good stuff. I like it. So I'd like to offer a 10 ml decan to one lucky subscriber, US only, please. What you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance, love or like and share this video, then leave one comment down below about what you enjoyed most about this video, besides Tiff Benson. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll announce the winner in about a week. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. You're awesome. My pleasure. So until next time, you take care.